I'm just out and about in the forest with the dogs. There's Kayla, there's Bailey, and I've come across a couple of shelters. But they're obviously made by kids. Maybe not, maybe not that young because the, the logs are pretty big. That have been uh, moved. So we can just give you a better idea. Yeah, take we walk around it. I'm just assuming it's kids or young adults. Um, it's good to see. I mean, there is errors, obviously, but it's nice to see kids uh, doing this rather than burning the place. Although there is evidence of some litter being left around, but I shall pick that up. But that's uh, that's now the third one. You can just see over there the other one. I'll take you over to this one. The biggest problem with this forest is it's man-made. So there's and it's in the middle of being um, logged, I think, and it's had quite a bit of damage, storm damage as well, just up the the far end. I don't know if you can make through the trees. There's quite a few downed. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can just see there is quite a few trees in there that have come down. But yeah, here's the, the other one. As I say, it's just nice to see kids or young adults or whatever they are, whoever they are, giving it a go. With a few pointers, this one could have been pretty decent, actually. There'd be enough room in there for a, a raised bed. It's a wee bit rutted and un, uneven, but you can easily make a raised bed in there that would be level. And all they need to do is just fill in the gaps, really. What they've done, you see the top section there? They've, um, you know, one long, another long either side. But they just need to put a short one in between them. And there is no shortage of materials in this forest because there are so many down trees. Um, and they're all cut nicely as well, so... They've obviously got a saw of some description, I would imagine. Yeah, but you can see where the... The big trucks have come in, big rutted tyre tracks. But yeah, no shortage of materials. But it's not an ideal forest for a, for a shelter because it is so rutted. But it's just nice to see kids having a go. I just thought I'd share that. Yeah, so it's not a bad effort, I suppose. A bit tall. It needs to be a bit lower. It'd be quite hard to heat it or keep heating it, but yeah, just some shorter lengths in between the, the longer ones. And they did a, a decent uh, product there, or a decent end result. And then they just chink it in. There's, there's plenty of moss in this forest to, to be able to chink in the gaps. Really, as usual, making sure she's getting as muddy as she possibly can. Ah, no digging! Come say hello. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. Where are you? Say hello. Say hello. So it's pretty cold today. It's hovering around about zero. Um, and stupid, let I forgot my gloves. But. In the forest, as we all know, it just uh, the temperature's not as bad. But it is a wee bit bitter on the hand when I'm holding the camera or the phone. Um, yeah, it's just nice, nice to get out and about. My favourite kind of walk, just wandering, meandering, meandering through the forest. And yeah, it's nice. So there's the storm damage right on the edge of the forest. I don't know if you can hear that buzzing in the background, but that's the M77, it's very close to this, this woodland. So as you'll see there in the forest, you'll see the, if you ever walk through a forest, 
and you see these orange dots on the trees well it's not paintball marks they are trees that have been marked um, to be felled, to be brought down um, for a, one reason or the other, I think it's just all part of woodland management um, not every tree, especially in a man-made forest will, will get, grow strong and healthy because they, they fight for the sunlight as they grow up so some will um, not make it yeah, so just uh, if you are through the forest and you see these orange dots, don't worry about somebody firing paintballs at you. Um, it's uh, trees that have been marked to come down. Yeah, it's been marked, but as you look up, it's it's pretty rotten. It's dead, in fact. It's, that's what we call dead standing. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more on that. You can see the bark, so flicked away, and there's. It's quite easy to spot because the, there won't be any greenery on it, any sh uh, shrubs on it or any greenery on it uh, and they look pretty awful and you see this one here has got a big kind of knot on it a growth in it which is also marked for coming down so that deformity on the the tree you see it there so that is known as a burrow and it's when the, the grain as the tree grows is deformed and it starts to grow in different directions and it causes a burrow just another useless bit of information from JQ Outdoors <laughs> uh, some people might be interested some people might not be <laughs> anyway and there's a tree that's been felled And we all know the rings on the tree are uh, an indication of how old it is. Down there, that is the River Irvine. You can see it's very frosty. You can see that in the grass, it's quite white. It's frost. The last summer I walked. A good chunk of this uh, river when it was very very low um, after a really hot spell it was almost empty and I just walked right along the riverbed it's quite interesting to see uh, how it looks yeah so time to get back into the forest it's bloody chilly so I've picked up a couple of uh, rounds for a wee project uh, maybe we'll do that later on today to do a wee video of it. So just walking through, this is the more kind of natural part of the forest. It's not man-made. There's a, a nice variety of trees here. Uh, mostly, mostly uh, pine, but there are the odd birch and um, hawthorn and things like that. There we go, look. There's another one. It's definitely kids, but they've got a good idea of what they're doing. They just need to refine it a little bit. Let's go have a look. Yeah, so they're done it off a fallen hung up tree, which is probably not the best idea, but it's good. I mean it's huge. It's massive. As I say, it's just nice to see kids have a wee go at it rather than destroying the place. They just need a few pointers in the right direction, things like don't use a hung up tree. Um, yeah. But it's alright if the hung up tree's solid, but that's not. There's a big, I don't know if you can see it, there's a huge bend in that. That could snap at any time, come down. Hopefully not while I'm standing under it. Good effort though. Good to see. <laughs> 